Well, next tonight, as we all know, climate change is at the top of the agenda as the world tries to limit global warming and build back greener after COVID. The government is hosting a major climate summit in Glasgow this year, known as COP26, and has committed to reducing carbon in the atmosphere and achieving net zero emissions by 2050. Well, today, the Energy Minister and the Berwick MP, Anne-Marie Trevelyan, has been in the region looking at how the North East is at the forefront of new technologies to help with that. And Julia Bartham joins us to tell us more. Julia. Thank you. Yes, she has been. Uh, we've all got used to, over recent years to hearing about green energy, wind and solar, for example, that gives us the electricity when we turn on a light switch. And those technologies have had a large impact on cutting our reliance on fossil fuels. But half of the total energy used in the UK goes to heat our homes and buildings and our water supply. And that is still mainly done by gas. How to replace it is the next big challenge. And today, Anne-Marie Trevelyan visited the first homes in the UK entirely powered by hydrogen, two houses in Gateshead. The boilers, hobs, cookers, fires, even the barbecue run using hydrogen. These are going to be open for schools and businesses and all sorts of people to come and visit and get a sense of what the new appliances look like and how they can be part of our future. But as part of the whole mix, because of course we're changing everything. As we go to net zero and move away from all the fossil fuels that we use at the moment, there will be a mixture of tools that we need to help us to live sustainably. The North East has been part of all the industrial revolutions over the centuries and this is our next challenge and I know that the region is going to take it on and be a critical part of the success. Gas is responsible for over a third of the country's carbon emissions, so finding solutions like hydrogen could have a dramatic impact, cutting our carbon footprint. As the Energy Minister said there, these are show homes to demonstrate and test the technology. Hydrogen's still a way off being widely used, but it is just one of the ways to replace gas. And the North East is also leading the way with another fuel source. This one taps into the region's heritage. Mining is back on Tyneside. This giant drill is boring down into the ground, mining not for coal, oil or gas, but for water. Can you explain where we are and what's happening here? We're on Baltic Quarter in Gateshead uh, and we're standing above about six mine workings and we're currently drilling 150 metres down into the Hutton Seam beneath our feet. When the mine closed, water flooded into the workings. Heated by the earth, it's between 12 and 20 degrees. That heat, geothermal energy, can now be used above ground. We declared a climate emergency two years ago and we've got some very challenging targets to achieve by 2030 when we said that we would be carbon neutral. If you look at the majority of homes in Gator, they are heated by gas boilers. A project like this very much helps us to actually eliminate carbon from our energy mix. The water will be pumped to the surface, put through a heat pump to boost the temperature and then be piped around homes and businesses to provide their heating and hot water. It's then piped back into a different part of the mine to be reheated by the Earth's core. This wine warehouse a mile away was one of the first places to use mine workings for heat, keeping the giant space a steady temperature. We started this uh, five years ago um, and, and it's been running for the last two and still it's, uh, it's, it's the only operational one in the UK as far as we know. Um, so it is quite difficult. We're spending quite a lot of time learning how to do this, how, how to operate it. And uh, I do hope that in the next few years more people will get into this technology and these things will be resolved by people helping each other. Now the potential for others to follow is being recognised. This map shows the flooded mines. Across the UK, 25% of homes are built on coal fields. In the northeast, it's much higher. We built our cities where we mined our coal. And so here in the northeast, you know, aside from a few hamlets in Northumberland, we're sitting on coal seams and worked coal mines. And they could be heated by the geothermal energy below their feet. Here in the northeast, we can all benefit from geothermal heat. The northeast is certainly leading the way. When coal was king, the northeast powered the industrial revolution. Now there's little left above ground, but below the ground, there's the potential to power the green revolution. At the former Dorden colliery, water has to be pumped out to stop it contaminating drinking water. The water is 20 degrees and there's enough from this one pump to heat 1,500 homes. 
There's lots of people who still live in these areas that were either miners themselves or had family members that were, and they know the amount of effort and toil that went into creating the infrastructure that's left underground. So I think the thought that that can be reused to solve our energy crisis is a really strong message and people are really positive about that. In Gateshead, they've struck water too. This scheme will provide heat to the Baltic, Sage and homes in the town centre, five kilometres of heat pipes. It's hoped it'll be working by next spring. And that's just the first scheme coming on board. There's other councils, South Tyneside, Sunderland, Northumberland, County Durham, also exploring that technology. So it really could be the future here for us. Absolutely. That's fascinating. Julia, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.